Russian general criticized army accused Ministry of Defense of supplying low quality uniforms. Vladimir Shamanov, deputy head of the Russian State Duma's Defense Committee and ex commander of the air assault troops, publicly criticized the army of the country. In particular, the Russian deputy accused the Ministry of Defense of supplying low quality uniforms to the Russian occupiers who are waging a criminal war against Ukraine. Public criticism of President Vladimir Putin's army is rare, considering that in March 2022, the Russian parliament passed a law providing for up to 15 years in prison for intentionally spreading fake news about the country's army. The Kremlin has used the law to crack down on those who deviate from Putin's version of the war and has even charged and imprisoned its own servicemen for discrediting the country's armed forces. Shamanov compared the occupation army of the Russian Federation with partisan units, noting that they receive military uniforms of deficient quality. The quality of the uniforms that are brought and issued simply cannot be assessed at all, says the ex-commander of the Russian air assault troops. Shamanov commanded the airborne troops of the Russian armed forces in the criminal war against Ukraine. Since May 12, 2014, for destabilizing the situation in Ukraine on the list of sanctions of the European Union and Ukraine, General Volodymyr Shamanov participated in the First and Second Chechen Wars, where he earned the nickname Chechen Butcher and a comparison with the Russian Empire team general for his merits in punitive combat operations, he was awarded the title Hero of Russia. In February 2005, the European Court of Human Rights found Shamanov responsible for the operation of federal forces in the village of Katir Yurt in February 2000, which was characterized by massive use of weapons of indiscriminate action and led to the death of civilians and violation of the right to life. In the course of this operation, federal forces inflicted massive strikes on the village. The European Court found that Shamanov did not take the necessary precautions when using heavy weapons in the populated area which the Russian command declared a security zone. Ukrainian Navy spokesman Dmitry Pletenchuk has said that Russia has made changes in the defense of the Kerch Bridge, also known as Crimea Bridge, connecting Russia to Crimea Peninsula. Previously, Russians had from 10 to 14 ships and boats at the sea simultaneously guarding the bridge, but now there are zero of them there. Accordingly, they must somehow solve this problem, Pletenchuk said, adding that Russians are building passive barriers and engineering structures near the bridge in the form of the same barges with booms. A video circulated on Telegram app shows the fortification around the bridge. According to British intelligence report, Russians have pulled eight barges to the bridge. The British analyzed satellite images, noting that installation began on May 10 and was completed on May 22. Today's satellite image already shows 17 barges, except for the flooded ones, and some unusual buildings reminiscent of piers. Crimea was annexed by Russia in an early 2014 and has been the venue of hostilities since Russia's full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Ukraine struck an S-400 system in Zankoy and two less advanced S-300 systems near Yevpatoria and Kornomorsk in Crimea this week, resulting in significant losses for Russian air defenses, Ukraine's general staff said.